Hi, it's Stamping with a Crafty Chick, and I am here to talk about some upcoming events and some new products from the 2019-2020 Annual Catalog. I can only show you the front cover right now. On June 1st, we are going to have a lovely video brochure unveiling. We're going to have a catalog launch video. So creativity is calling and we are going to answer. And I can tell you that some of these lovely projects, I did it on stage. And I will show you the stamp sets that I got at on stage and the ones that I ordered um, after I got home and um, we'll go through some of the new colors I did have a little bit of an adventure when I was at on stage due to the weather between Dallas and Salt Lake City I was actually stranded in Salt Lake City for a couple of days after on stage was over I was supposed to leave um, Sunday and all the flights were canceled and then I had to go get my luggage, go back to the um, airport counter at American Airlines and they were just struggling. Their system was down. It, it could go wrong. It went wrong for them that day. So I tried to be as patient as I could and you know, it's out of their control. The weather's out of their control. Computer issues were out of their control. And so um, eventually they did get around to um, giving me um, a phone number so I could call and get a reservation nearby. And I did. But then the next day it was Groundhog Day. Replay the same thing. I went to the airport in the morning, ready to board the plane check in my luggage, check in on my ticket, go through security, go to the gate and wait. And then eventually I was told that the flight was not going to be going out. As a matter of fact, all their flights were canceled again. So I went back downstairs, got my luggage, got another voucher for the, for the hotel. They called the shuttle. The shuttle came and got me. And then, um, it was actually quite nice because they gave me um, a voucher for dinner the second night. The first night, since their system wasn't working, they just told me um, that they would cover my expenses and I just had to submit them um, online for reimbursement. But um, then that night, the second night, they did cover my meal up front, so that was pretty cool and um, also my hotel that was covered up front and um, so I got a very nice meal and made some phone calls to let my husband know he did not have to come pick me up at the airport that night and poor thing <laughs> and then finally the next day um, we had to leave the hotel at like 4 30 5 o'clock in the morning so I had my fingers crossed that this time, the third time, is always the charm, and it was. So we did get home safely, and then I found out that the day after I got home, they canceled flights again for a couple of days because of the weather. So I was not alone. There were a lot of us stranded. I saw quite a few stamping up um, canvas bags around the airport and I am just thrilled I didn't have to sleep in the airport and um, very blessed that I met the nicest people behind the desk at American Airlines and they just did their darndest to make sure that everybody was taken care of so I just want to say good job American and for those people who were frustrated it is frustrating because there is no magic answer. But um, anyway, 
So it took me a couple of days after I got home to get situated. And then uh, we all got sick and we were passing around the same cold that I brought home from Salt Lake City. <laughs> so it's been an adventurous two weeks. So I'm happy to be back on track and getting back to my regular routine and doing my job, which I absolutely love. I love being a stamping up demonstrator. I'm so blessed that I can do this as a job. So moving on, um, I'm sure you probably read through this as I was chattering and chattering. Um, not sure if you cared about my story or not, but I just felt kind of um, like you needed, uh, deserved an explanation as to why I had gone dark, as my friend used to say, um, or gone silent, and you hadn't heard from me in um, a little over a week. Well, that's why. Now, of course, this is my Stamping Up website. Um, my upcoming online classes. Okay, so the last day of the month I do the paper pumpkin. And tomorrow is the last day of the month. So stay tuned for tomorrow. We're going to do um, a paper pumpkin alternate project. And I have some cute ideas that I came up with and a little bit of a twist on an idea that someone else um, showed me. My mom, <laughs> she had some really creative ideas as well. The, this paper pumpkin that came in is very pretty actually. And um, it looks like next month's is going to be as well. And we'll get into that in the paper pumpkin video. Okay, May 1st, which is two days from now, we're going to look at tropical chic and that is let's see if i can find it up here we're going to use uh the stamp set and we're going to also incorporate the dies into our project and it's going to be a 3d project that we're going to do if we have time, we'll do a card as well, um, but it will be fun. We're going to do something else, and you, it's actually a useful 3D project, so that's going to be fun. On May 15th, we're going to do a class using the High Tide set. And if I had been more organized, I would have gotten these out already. But thank goodness I have them in alphabetical order on my desk. I'm a little, a little OCD. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I want to incorporate it into with Father's Day. I have some Father's Day stamps. Um, and if I can find them, we'll look for them tomorrow or the next day. Anyway. I thought this would be a really good Father's Day one. I also have some cards to show you that I made from the Geared Up Garage. So if we have time, we might make a card from that, but I'll definitely show you that one. Um, and any others that I have that I think would be good for Father's Day. And then on the last day in May, Paper Pumpkin again. That's going to be the distinctive stamps. And so we get to see that cool paper pumpkin kit that Sarah's been going on about. And this is her special project. So I'm pretty excited to see how that's going to turn out. Hello, Jen. Um, yes, you can follow along with me on the online classes. I will, um, for every class, I will provide a supply list and right now I'm doing the classes up front and if you want to purchase the items then you will have the PDF as well as links to all of the items 
am being used in the class. And after June 1st, when we do our catalog launch, now I usually do classes on the 1st and the 15th of every month. But June 1st is a very special day. That's when I'm allowed to show you the inside pages of this catalog. So we are not waiting until June 2nd for that. We are going to do the catalog launch video on June 1st. And then we'll do the class on June 2nd because guess what? This is just so much more important, right? Priorities. And then we're going to do a June 2nd class with a new stamp set called It Begins, It Starts With Art. And here is what the stamp set looks like. And I also have some matching paper. Um, I got my box. Like I said, I had uh, some catching up to do when I got home. So not only did I make my order at the last minute, but I was probably one of the last people to get the box of the new items from on stage. So um, I have the paper for this as well. I just opened this box and I thought it might be a little bit exciting for us to do this together. Looks like I got a couple of some of these. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Hmm. Looks like they gave me two green ones. And did I order two green ones? Hmm. It's very possible. You never know. It was 11.48 p.m. So who knows what I ordered. Um, here is the paper that goes with it. And I want to go ahead and show you that now just because I can. I know it's funny. We can't show you the inside of the book, but we can show you projects and the products. So I don't make the rules. I just try to follow them. Sometimes they can be confusing. So here is the cool paper that goes with this. It is double-sided. So you get two, I think two of six designs. And of course it coordinates with this. And I like the project uh, that we were shown where you can cut these pieces out and put those on your card. And you see how this coordinates with this. And did you know that was a heart? Look at that. You can cut that off and make that a heart. So that is cool. These are way too small for me to fussy cut, even though I fussy cut everything. Uh, those are even too small for me. So I don't think I'll be fussy cutting those. But I think I might be fussy cutting some of those. Not the pencils. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so we've got paper clips on one side and some splashes of stripes. More paper clips and some more splashes of color and some lines, different lines and circles and half circles. And so that's it. So yeah, there's two of each. So we will get to play with this paper too. Also, after that, I'm going to do a class on the 15th, and we're going to do the Daisy Lane. Now, this one does have its own punch. However, that was not available to us at the time. I'm going to try to order it on May um, 1st. Oh, yeah, I should have it by June 15th. No worries. Um, because there's a small punch that goes with this. Now, this does look very similar to the Daisy um, stamp set in the current catalog. I don't have that other Daisy stamp set. I just didn't buy it because everybody was doing that stamp set, and I like to do something that is a little bit different. I don't want to oversaturate the market with the same thing everybody else is doing. So this one I'm going to do um, and that will be July, uh, June 15th we'll be working on this one and it does have a punch so I should have that punch by then let's look at some other things so this 
Let's go back to this. Here is the cute little sample that I have. And uh, I think we'll add some string or whatever to it as well. I'm not sure if we're going to do the card exactly like that, but this gives you an idea. This was uh, one of the uh, ideas that they did at on stage. So when you go to on stage, um, anyone can go that's a demonstrator. You do make and takes and you do get some free items. And I got these, oops, and this one for free as well. And I don't have any background stamps. Um, I just have never incorporated them into any of my projects. I haven't really thought about it one way or the other until I got this. So I am brainstorming to come up with a project that I can use this for. It is a birch. Let's see. Yeah, it's just raised and it'll give you a nice look like a birch tree. And when I was little and lived in Connecticut, we had tons of birch trees in our backyard. And my dad used to do oil paintings. And that was my favorite painting. So I definitely was thrilled to get that background stamp for birch trees. There's also some paper for birds. Isn't that cute? You know what? I'm going to turn this over. Nope. I'm going to get a new sheet because I, it's hard for me to see with all that writing. And it quite possibly might be a little bit hard for you to see as well. There. That's better. There's too much background, busy background. Isn't that cute? And there's paper for that, too. This is called Bird Ballad. And it is really pretty. When I first saw it, I wasn't sure how I felt about it, just to be honest. You know, sometimes you first see things and you're like, hmm, do I like it? Am I going to like that? I don't know. Trying to be careful not to tear paper when I open this with the scissors. Oh, I didn't even look at the comments. Sorry. Um, hi, Randy. How are you? I love that card that you posted. Or not the card, the, um, the scissor charms. Those are so cute. So this is the bird ballad paper. Again, it is, you get two pages of each design and there are six designs. So you get 12 sheets in all and it is 12 by 12. So if you are a scrapbooker, you can still use these. If you are a card maker, you can get quite a few card fronts out of that. Oh, look at these. You could fussy cut those out. Those are so pretty. And then the matching background. Ooh, look at those. Yeah, I love the colors they chose for this. These are the new colors. I believe it sure looks like it. It looks like the 2019, 2020 colors. Oh, and how cute. There's little keys. And let's see what's next. Feathers. Well, of course, why not? It's bird paper after all. What's on the other side? Bird cages. I like the way they did the coloring on that paper. Oh, isn't that pretty? Ooh, more birds. Who thought you could have so many different ways to show off birds? And this is the paper. Now, I put my paper on upside down when I made my card. The paper's supposed to go that way. <laughs> but we were doing so many things at once, and it's uh, it's just so much fun. The atmosphere is just crazy, and so that was okay. That was that on stage, I mean, yeah. Oh, isn't that cute? Little bird feet. And that's the end of that. Okay. Very cool. And our other project that we did 
is, oh yes, uh, this is the paper pumpkin. Now, um, Randy, and if you're still there, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this um, is from a paper pumpkin kit that is going to be available after June 1st. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to be the one for next month or if this is the um, the cards that come with the introductory kit that the demonstrators will get to use um, to introduce new customers to paper pumpkin. But either way, this, see, this is really pretty how that matches the envelope. And then the inside, of course, is blank, but it also has the same vanilla coloring. And this is, these are little 3D flowers. Everything is layered, so it's very pretty. And did I have another one? Oh, I did. Yes, yes, yes. This is one of my favorites. This we made a smaller card um, and using some smaller sized note card. Um, this is one of the options we could have done and then I chose to do something slightly different and I tore around it just to give it that look and I really really like this I was surprised I'm not a big lighthouse person um well actually I am come to think of it I have lighthouse pictures and seaside pictures and all that kind of stuff but I mean as far as cards go um I have only this one lighthouse stamp this one and I haven't used it that often twice I think since I've had it and that's it but this one, I don't know if it's the brown and blues that play off of each other or what it is about this particular combination that they used for um, this kit. But I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. And I think, do I have paper for that? I sure do. This is called Come Sail Away. Just like this song from the 1980s, which I will not sing because I cannot carry a tune. But that's just so pretty. And I'll put this here so you can see both of them. So right there, that is, um, we didn't have that because that's the die cutout, which is the wheel for the boat. And so we just had the stamp, which has the compass. So that's why I went ahead and did that. And then look, you get these cool little pieces that you can put on there, a wheel and an anchor. Let's see, there's a compass on one side and a world map on the other side. And let's see, this one. Ooh, I love this vintage look. That's nice. It's upside down for y'all, so I'm going to turn it around. That is really cool. Um, that's the first vintage paper that I've seen that Stampin' Up! has. Um, maybe I'm not paying attention to all the available paper they had before, and I haven't been doing this for very long, but I really like that. I wish they would do more of that. Let's see. Next, we have the background paper we used for this card. Oh, on the other side. I like that. This looks like the wallpaper that they might have in the sea captain's house on the shore up in New England. That's where I grew up. Oh, how pretty. I think that's why I like this so much. It just occurred to me this is very New Englandy. 
I just made that word up. Ooh, now this definitely looks like uh, New England wallpaper that you would have in your dining room or in a bedroom. That is pretty. Looks like um, like a Cape Cod blue. Let's see, and we've got a bunch of little lighthouses and some really bold stripes. Very nice. I like that they made that look denim. And that's it for that one. So that's cool. And another reason I'm showing you this paper is, of course, guess what? It's time for another paper share. So you will get um, samples of all this new paper that I'm showing you. And I will be posting that um, in the next week or so, uh, the paper share details along with what you're going to get and of course you're going to get some free stuff with it too because i cannot do anything without throwing in some free stuff and this one um where is it it doesn't say i have the kit here i did buy this one this is so pretty Ah, oh, this is Floral Essence, and this card was this way. I decided to do it that way, just to be different. I just wanted to see how it would look, and it looks just fine. This has a punch as well. Okay, here's the punch that comes with this, and I think I saw uh, somewhere in the book, so I've been looking at that book a little bit every day, trying to, uh, you know, memorize everything in it. I think you can make a butterfly from this. Um, if it wasn't this one, it was a different flower. No, it was a different flower stamp. But I'm going to try to do it anyway. We can, there's, I bet there's so many different pop art things that you can do with that. Punch art, that's what it's called. And so this is really pretty. I love this deep, rich color. Now, this is made out of vellum, and look at these cool little fuzzy things in the middle. I love sunflowers. Those are my favorite, so that kind of reminds me a little bit of sunflowers. And here are the little doodads that you get to put in the middle. Uh, these are called Perennial Essence Floral Centers. So they're pretty thick and fuzzy. So it'll make it look like a real flower. Very excited about those. And you also we have these flower uh, faceted gems. Very nice. Mm, colors. Let's see. One more thing. Oh, yes. And so I, I just got this the kit, everything that comes with it. Uh, the bundle. This is the petal pink ribbon. Let's see if I can rip this open. Oh dear, let me get some scissors. It's been a long time since I've done an ad hoc live video. So Hopefully I won't be really long. I'm just I just got so enthralled with this that I didn't realize how long I'd been on, but that's okay. This is gorgeous. Look at that. Just beautiful. I love that. Look how nicely it goes with all of that. Just gorgeous. Wow, I can't wait to use that. We might have to push this up. A little bit. I don't want to wait long to do that one. <clears throat> Maybe we'll um, slip that one in early. And oh yeah, here's a couple extras. So you get so much out of one little piece of paper that I was able to make some extra flowers to show you. This is what they look like when you punch them out. 
and I think it's that side. So this is, um, it looks like petal pink vellum. Not 100% sure it's petal pink, but we'll go with that. And this is what it looks like. So you have your top, and then you take your bottom, and voila! You have a flower. Very, very easy. Even for beginners. Let's see. Um, I'm sure other people have shown you, but I'm going to show you too. So this is terracotta tile, and this is one of the new colors. And these are all screaming 1980s to me, and I am a 1980s child by heart, in my heart. I, was, I grew up in the 70s and the 80s, we'll say, but the 80s, that's when I made my mark on the world. And so I remember all the clothes, the fashion, the colors, and that's what reminds me. So this terracotta tile. And then this is Purple Posy. That is such, such a pretty lilac. Very, very springy. I love that one. And Rococo Rose. This reminds me of the different shades of uh, mauve or mauve, depending on where you lived, what you called it. That reminds me of that. And this is Pretty Peacock. And uh, you probably have seen it so... Um, on the, I did some, I posted some pictures from on stage of uh, the sneak peeks that they provided us with the paper and the different projects. And so, you know, there is an amazing peacock stamp set in the new catalog. Oh my goodness! So I am all about peacocks right now. I just did a, a project with beads. Um, using for uh, peacocks came out beautiful. So blue peacocks are all the rage this season. And this seaside spray. So that goes really well with, you guessed it, this right here. That goes really well with that and the espresso and crumb cake. So I kind of got off track. Let's go back to this and the paper. Here it is. I have so much paper. Even though I saw it on stage, it's different to be able to touch it and feel it and look at it. And, you know, when you see it on, at, on stage, it's, you know, um, on the, the walls or these pillars where it is displayed and I'm quite short, so I can reach half of it to touch it. Um, and then you see it on the overhead as well, but it is just something else to actually touch the paper. In this digital world of ours, I think that uh, touching and seeing in person is very important. I don't think that as humans we have lost that urge and uh, that pleasure of having things in front of us in person. Wow, these are so pretty. So these, of course, were um, inspired by Monet and the Impressionist periods from the European artists. And um, when I was in French class, we studied that in high school. And this just brought me right back. So pretty. This is just gorgeous. I mean, I'm just like, I just don't even know what to say. This is so nice. Such is very romantic paper. This is so much prettier in person than it was on the screen. I have to tell you, um, I'm a little surprised. This is, wow. This is really, really, really beautiful paper. Glad I got it. 
I want to show you this. This is the Mosaic Wood Specialty Design Paper. Now, I don't have any other things to go with it, but I do want to show you this because this is another case of you have to have it in your hands to feel the full effect of it. And if you want me to send you a sample of some of this paper, I'll be more than happy to. Um, um, usually what I try to do is um, send out little samples of, you know, three by three sheets so there's enough for everybody, just so you can feel it and touch it and get an idea of just how nice the paper is. And it just doesn't do it justice in this video. You can see a little bit of the reflection. Okay, and it's not just that it's mm, got shiny stuff on it. This is raised. This has um, another layer to it. And I don't know what they used for this, but this is beautiful. Just beautiful. I would so fussy cut these out and put them on a card. Put that in the background. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. So again, you get two of each. Two, two sheets of each and six designs. Wow, this is, I could just touch that all day. That is just so nice. That would make such a luxurious card. And this too, this is also textured. So if you want uh, a little samples of these, um, let me know. And as soon as I have the green light from corporate, I will send out little paper samples for everybody who wants one. Now this one is just flat, but it's still uh, very close to the other paper. So you have two options. This one, however, this side is raised. And it's just that little extra touch that makes that paper just so special. Pretty butterflies and flowers. And then the other side, ooh, this whole paper has that raised effect. Um, I don't want to say it's plastic. It's, you know, I'm going to have to find out what this is because this is just amazing. I wish I could get like seven sheets of this alone just in, to see if I can order that separately. Oh, look at this. Isn't that pretty? They use the mosaic designs again here to make some flowers. And this is also textured. Ooh, and that's pretty. That goes very well with the rest of the paper. I love these backgrounds. Stamping Up does such a great job of complementing one sheet of paper to another color to, uh, you know, everything. All the colors and the patterns, they just complement each other so well. And it takes all the guesswork out of having to decide what goes with what. So this looks similar to the other one, but again, this one's flat and the other one is raised. This is gorgeous. Just beautiful. I can't wait to see what people do with this paper. So I think this and um, so far this and the perennial essence are my favorite romantic papers and then just my and then I also like um the lighthouse paper too for its own reasons now this is garden lane now this was made to go with the perennial paper let's pull that out um the way it is set up in the catalog they are kind of together and there are notations on how you can use these papers together. This does have its own stamp set, but I don't think it has a framelit. 
Let me take a look. I'm sorry. A die. We're not using that word framelit anymore. It's just a die set. Why? Because that is what they are. Yes, Verdant Garden Stamp Set and the Garden Lane Designer Series Paper. Oh, I'm sorry. It's to go with the Magnolia Sweet Paper, which we haven't seen yet. I knew it was one of those. Okay. I know some people just rattle this stuff off. And I have looked and looked at all this stuff, but I still cannot memorize everything. It's, there's just so much. And it's all so wonderful. I love this. This definitely is garden paper. How gorgeous is that? If you like the to make um, designs out of busy paper, this is awesome. Looks like a little trellis and more leaves. More leaf designs. Oh, isn't that pretty? A little bit of like a mosaic. And let's see what's on the other side of this. Ooh, I like that. That just pops right off the paper, doesn't it? Oh, and that's a nice deep green. Mm, and more geographic. Ge yeah. I'm not even going to try to say it. <laughs> Ge geography designs. Oh my gosh. I just can't think of it. Let's say mosaic. And, ooh, and more. Geographical. Yes. That's what happens when you get old, you start forgetting words. So then, somehow I got two of those. Probably because I liked it so much. Yep, sure enough, I did. I would do. Okay, so here is the Magnolia Lane paper that goes uh, nicely with that garden paper I just showed you. Now, this is gorgeous. Um, I only had enough in my budget to choose one full bundle, so I chose the Floral Essence this month, and next month I'm getting this one. This is so rich and beautiful. Just gorgeous. And then the next one I'm going to get is, um, I wish I could show you, but... Um, Let's see. Bloom and grow. Oh, that one's gorgeous. Lots of flowers and perfect dyes to go with it to cut them out. And it is the projects they made with those are beautiful. This is so nice. Oh, look at that. Huh, okay, I thought I was showing you opposites, but I'm not. You know, sometimes they pack the paper where they have two of the same, and then sometimes they pack the paper where it's like one of each sheet, and then sheet number two. It's collated differently. Very, very pretty. So I'll just have to do that. Flip it over. Ooh. This magnolia paper is just gorgeous. And I sure hope that my camera is not being all fuzzy today. I did four um, dry runs before I used this, and I had and I tried different softwares. Um, yeah, we saw this. I tried Manicam. I tried uh, Snagit. I tried um, what was the other one? Oh yeah, UbiSoft, UBS. And it always causes the video to just buffer and buffer and buffer. So I hope when I, I'm going to go back and check this and make sure that this came out good. If it did, then I'm going to use this mini cam again. 
This worked really great on my phone last week. Okay, so here we have some of the more delicate paper. This is called, oh, this is also the perennial essence. Okay, now this goes with I buried it, but I will find it. Here it is. This goes with all of this and this. So, you know, in these. Look how lovely that is on that paper. Gorgeous, just gorgeous. So this is colored vellum. So you can make beautiful, sheer, light looking flower stems. That's what these are made of. Whoops. These flower stems are made from this paper. Yes. Um, you may not be amazed. Oh, I got something sticking in my arm. You may not be amazed by that, but I am. That's the first time I've used vellum to make flowers. Like I said, I haven't been at this a long time. So there are so many new and exciting things that I'm learning how to do, like punch art and using vellum more. Just gorgeous. Look at that beautiful, beautiful green. It's so light and airy. Ooh, and then another beautiful flower color. Nice. Isn't that beautiful? Looks like we have some petal pink. And um, I'm going to take a wild stab in the dark and say this might be mossy meadow. And do they even tell us what the colors are in the back of this? Mm, no. That would be nice. And this is gorgeous. Um, this looks like so saffron, doesn't it? It sure does. Which is the same color as the centers of these flowers. Just gorgeous. Wow, I just love this paper. I've been saying that about almost every paper I pulled out, haven't I? <laughs> so, whoops. I, I love new things. I'm one of those people that, although I like some things to say the same, I always embrace a change because it just means something new and exciting and different that I haven't experienced before. So it is kind of sad when our old items, I mean, our, you know, the ones that we're used to, they retire and we have to replace them with new. But then just imagine all of the new possibilities things that you couldn't do before because you didn't have these dyes or the new stamps or the new colors and the new papers, right? It gives you a chance to spread your wings and increase your creativity. Oh, how beautiful is that? Okay, here are the new 2019-2020 cardstock colors. Uh, let's see. For some reason, I'm losing my light. Let's see if I can plug this in over here. I had some really good sunlight, and this, all of a sudden, the sun just decided to go bye-bye. There we go. Let's see if we can get some nice blue light on there. That is so pretty. So that one is... Purple Posy, and this one is Seaside Spray, and then we have this one, which is Pretty Peacock. Can't wait to get that peacock stamp, too. Oh, yeah. That is going to be so pretty. I already have so many plans for that. And here is Terracotta Tile. I'm going to make some kind of a sampler or something and frame it. 
And here is Rococo Rose. So there you have it. I think I went through everything in my box. I sure did. Oh, no, there's one more thing I did not look at yet. And I think it got buried. Oh, yeah. So I want to share this with you. I'm pretty proud of this accomplishment. And I have you to thank for it. So I recently promoted to silver. If you're not a Stamping Up demonstrator, um, I'm sure that you're familiar with other companies who have different levels. And as you reach different benchmarks, then you're given a different title. And with Stamping Up, it's Bronze, Bronze Elite, Silver, Silver Elite, I think uh, Gold, Gold Elite, Platinum, and so forth. And so this is my gift from Stamping Up for Reaching Silver Elite. Ooh, isn't that beautiful? Wow, what is this? Uh, oh, this is Stamping Up. How pretty. Oh, my, that is so gorgeous. So for Reaching Silver Elite, you get a silver necklace. Aw, that is really, really pretty. I will wear that proudly. And I think you guys, I don't want to sound like I'm accepting an Academy Award or being uh, <laughs> weird or anything, but really, thank you. Because you are why I do this. So that's my share for today. Thanks, everybody. Let's see. Hi, Hoshi. Oh, you like the rose one? Yes, they are pretty. Sorry, I haven't been looking at the comments. I'm just so engrossed in how pretty all of this paper is. It's amazing. So um, thanks so much for joining me today. And I hope to see you um, in my classes. I have, uh, this is my... URL for my website for my store, a crafty chick .net. And I'm also, I will save this on Facebook. I'm also going to post it on YouTube and I'll have a bajillion links as usual. And if you missed it, I have some upcoming classes. The last day of every month, I do paper pumpkins. So tomorrow we're going to do paper pumpkin and alternative projects. And then on the 1st and the 15th, I do a, a, a card class. I showcase a particular um, stamp set that I like. And so we're going to do Tropical Chic on the 1st. On the 15th, we'll do High Tide, and we'll make like a Father's Day themed card. And then on the last day in May, the 31st, um, I will have a paper pumpkin I'll probably pre-record that because most people are going to be busy doing their Memorial Day stuff, uh, the 25th through the 31st, so that may or may not be pre-recorded. Um, and then June 1st, we're going to do our catalog launch video. So we are going to break open that new catalog that's coming out in June. And I had it here when I started. It's buried under all this paper. Here it is. So we're going to look at this. And I can't show you the inside until June 1st. Those are the rules. Sorry. Um, and then June 2nd, I'm going to start with the new stamp sets from the new catalog. And we're going to do, it starts with art, which is this one. And... Just for those who weren't here earlier, I'll do this real quick. Here is a sample of a card that we made on, on stage. And I'm going to do something a little bit different, but just to give you an idea of just how cute that can be. And then on June 15th, we're going to do Daisy Lane. And I don't have a project to show you yet on that one, but it is cute. 
and there's a punch that goes with it that won't be available to me until next week or yeah two days from now so um, I'll have the punch for that and then uh, the last day in June we're going to do paper pumpkin now right now um, I don't have the exact stamp sets I'm going to do after June 15th uh, I should have that in the next week or so um, but just remember the first and the 15th and the last day of the month I try to do it on a routine so it's easy to remember today was just an ad hoc live Facebook uh, video so I could unbox my stamping up goodies that I got um, from my pre-order and if you would like to become a demonstrator uh, please reach out to me it is not a huge deal it's just so easy you just fill out an order for $99 worth of product just like you do for any other order and the only difference is you're going to fill out a demonstrator application which you just have to give some personal information like you would for anyone else that you're signing up to do anything with and you can either sign up just to get the discounts on all your future orders which is up to 25 percent or um, you can go into it with the mindset that you could make extra money whichever way you decide that you want to run your stamping up business or hobby is exactly how that uh, you will be treated which means if you don't want to sell then just let me know let me know and I will make sure that no one bothers you to sell anything if you do want to sell then we do have a lot of great support groups that we can uh, hook you up with on Facebook if you just want to be a hobbyist we also have great support groups for that as well on Facebook where people just all the demonstrators who don't want to sell by the way it's about 90 percent of the demonstrators that sign up for stamping up do not sign up to do this as a business that's a lot they are their own best customer so it's really cool when you can order things at a 20 percent 25 percent discount and also you get early access to all the items like this you get early access to all of these stamp sets and everything before your customers do before anyone else so if you want to be your own best customer which is um, how a lot of people start out they just want the dis discount then you get more bang for your buck obviously and if you want to make this a business then there's a ton of support for that as well okay so I said that a couple times already so I think you got the idea <laughs> and if you're interested at all uh, reach out to me let me know that you want to place an order let me know if you want a uh, new catalog I have can put you on my catalog list and get those out to you so that you can join me online on June 1st and go through the catalog together yes and if you want to sign up as a demonstrator doing business or hobbyist let me know also if you want a lot of um, if you want everything all the details broken down for you as far as what demonstrator benefits there are and what is involved go to my site and click on the join now button I have a whole page where I just drill it down so there are no surprises and I haven't had any surprises I've been doing this for two years now and I love it and I love the company and I love the people if I didn't I wouldn't be here trust me I'm not that thick skinned so if people are mean to me I'm leaving <laughs> so don't worry everybody at Stamping Up is so super nice and it is a family owned company and it's owned by the same ladies that started it 
it's not a conglomerate run by a huge invisible anonymous group of people the ladies that run it do their own videos they talk to people one-on-one -on -one. they are real people and they were just like us one day deciding hey i want something better and they made their own company and so that's where we are today so thanks so much for joining me sorry this went really really long but i had a lot of catching up to do i really value your time so i'm super psyched that you could join me today and that you gave me your precious time and shared it with me so I could share all of my exciting news with you. And I hope to see you on my next online class. And this is a crafty chick saying goodbye and happy crafting. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye-bye.